Networking is the most powerful thing that you could do for your business to expand your business. But in order for you to make money, you have to know people to get you money, to bring you money. At the Christian Time Power Breakfast, we've done that. We've been doing that over several months. Not only bringing people together, but, but if I can say literally, pairing people up to get business with each other or referring business to each other. So what you're going to see are testimonies and also interviews on, on how powerful the, uh, the Power Breakfast is. Uh, first of all, I'd like to bring on our first guest that will really give an idea uh, on what Power Breakfast is all about. And, and she's sitting down. <laughs> what you, we'll, we'll do this again, okay? Take two, no, okay, we good enough? We're going, okay. No oh, you know something? You just sit me on your cell phone. Girl, you know, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm Susan Samuel from It Takes a Community to Raise a Child, New York's only 24 hours, seven days a week, including holiday, child care after school learning center, and also home of Dream Catchers Youth Business Program. Dream Catchers, we just don't dream, we catch them, where we teach children financial literacy and entrepreneurship. Um, being here at the Power Breakfast at the Christian Times um, has been an awesome experience, especially dealing with the newspaper and advertisement, marketing what I do with the children. Last year, the Christian Times was present when we actually had um, Elsie Thompson, Elsie Thomas, um, Bill Thompson's wife, who presented to my dream catchers at their graduation. And that was a phenomenal experience for the children, actually to see them in the paper. Not to mention dealing with TMI and, and the relationship that we have in terms of bringing more business to us, really to each other, because it's a reciprocal um, relationship. But this is an awesome event. One need to come out and experience it for yourself. And I've been talking about the importance of, of uh, creating a culture of commerce. How do we really get this in the psyche of our people and our community that, listen, we need to really get serious about business. And, and uh, Debbie Wallace, you know, you're a producer and a, uh, one of the greatest um, choir directors I know. I'm just grateful for all that you're doing. Just a great time to come and share and even to acknowledge your leadership and the things that you're doing today. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. Um, I am, I've been blessed over the years to, um, to just work with some really great people. And I am just thankful that uh, God has um, opened the doors for me to be able to do that. I am the owner of uh, Harvest Time Production and Management, mm -hmm. and it's a production company, and we produce different shows and events, not just for ourselves, but we also have clients that we work for, and we're just, uh, we're just pleased and blessed that God has given us, has allowed me to be able to do that and do that business. And uh, as you talk about that, I know you have a show that's coming up on the 31st of May. Yes. I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to being there. Yes. So we probably should talk a little bit about that and, and just how important this business is because I think this is one of the areas where we've got a lot of people doing business in this particular area, so we want to talk about that after. But tell us a little bit about what's going on on, on the 31st. I'm excited. Awesome. We're excited, too. We're really excited about May 31st. Uh, May 31st, we have the honor of bringing to Brooklyn, New York, uh, Bishop Jason Nelson and also Anthony Brown and Group Therapy. They're both Stella Award winners, and we're so excited that they're gonna be here. We also have Pastor David Wright and the New York Fellowship Choir, mm, and mm. they are so awesome. We also have Darrell Hall and Restored, and Edison Alvarez, and a wonderful group of young ladies called Sisters. Mm. So they're going to be there also. Wow, and yeah. sisters, that's my favorite right there. I mean, I, I appreciate everybody else and, you know, David and Wright and, and Fellowship. But, um, yeah, that, that's your daughters. So I'm, yes. they're my favorite. I'm excited about all of that. But, 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 you know, as we're talking about this, the whole idea of this production being a business in our community, we're seeing this at a whole nother level now because there are so many um, black producers in Hollywood, 
that are really producing at a whole nother level. Right. Um, it's it's a great business, and it is probably a business that we need to take more seriously on the on the money making side of it. Absolutely, it's a great it's a great business because the, a lot of gospel artists need somewhere to be able to promote their music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And what better way to produce their music and to promote their music and their upcoming projects through gospel promoters like myself and some of the partners that I have partnered with. Uh, this year we partnered with Maguire Entertainment Group which is owned by uh, Pastor Philip Wesley, and Maestro Production, which is owned by Noel Gordon. So um, it's a great opportunity on both, both ends, uh, the artists as well as the producers and the gospel. So we work together to pro help them promote their music, and yet still we can, we can uh, create a really great business by doing mm. that. All right, well, at the end of the day, we, we're really uh, here at the uh, Christian Times uh, monthly business power breakfast, really talking about uh, business growth and business development within our community. It's a very important time, a critical time. I'm excited about just the many contacts that are being made and, and uh, the alliances that are being formed. Uh, the new business that have been created because uh, that's what it's all about in the yes, end. Yes, yes. Hi, my name is Catherine Joseph Emanuel. I'm a senior sales director of Mary Kay Cosmetics, it's a company who's been around for 50 years and enrich women's life for personal and financial success. I personally teach women through their tools of self-motivation and self-esteem how to build a business from ground up i love what i do i'm looking for women who have a need for more and how i could show you how to use the vehicle of mary Kay cosmetics to achieve personal and financial success in your life i love the fact that i was here today got some great information from TMI. It was businesses connecting to other businesses. It's all about empowerment, and that's what I stand for. Because there are Christian Times, I was blessed to meet Shemaine and be invited to this power breakfast by Christian Times, where it's all about empowering and just putting it out there, keeping it within our community, and helping other businesses to, to connect and to build on that connection and create success, not just for us, but also within our community. So come on out to the next Power Breakfast because it will be a blessing to you. Yeah, uh, th there is there is truly a huge gap. Um, uh, I'm talking about this huge, um, you know, parity gap as it relates to uh, business ownership, as it relates to um, business revenue, other communities versus the the black community in New York and across the United States of America, and we know that um, we've seen a digital divide that has even broadened that gap more than that, that, than it was. So obviously, the journey is how do we really begin to close that gap and I'm happy that we have uh, Dr. Pearson with us and you're doing some exciting things which I'm happy about. So let's talk about some of the things you're doing a little bit and how that is really helping to close not only the economic parity gap but hopefully the digital divide as well. Yes, um, the main thing that we're, we're doing is that we, uh, we've developed what we call the PET, the Pearson Education Tablet. And the, one of the main reasons is uh, that we wanted to actually bridge that digital divide uh, and also a lot of other divides was the financial literacy divide. Uh, <clears throat> and one of, the th one of the main obstacles that was um, in that digital divide was the cost of technology. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to uh, partner um, with some of our developers and we was able to get the cost of not only the digital textbooks or the digital content, we were able to get the actual device down to a good price to where it could be an even playing field for, for all. Mm -hmm. and, and that's good. L let's talk a little bit about PET. Um, how does the, the, project, the, the, the product works and uh, how does uh, individuals get involved and, and what kind of impact are we looking that this is going to have in the end? Yeah, well, what we're, what our goal is to impact about $250 million um, mainly 250 million students worldwide mm. that's out of the um, education system in terms of digital 
technology and not only that, not only that but that's out of education in terms of being engaged in education mm -hmm. so one of the main things is that uh, we like to focus on the technology but we also have a major crisis where education is no longer cool to a lot of students is no longer um, relevant to their success in 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 the way they think um, so what we wanted to do is also bring the technology as well as some of the programs that would help keep young people or of all people engaged and inspired to want to learn. Um, so one of the main things that we're doing with the pet is that we're getting ready to put different content on there like we wanted to, um, the partnership that we're forming, um, put in the Christian Times on there already an app that comes on the tablet by default. Wow. You know, so we want to mm -hmm. partner with more people that has content and you can actually monetize definitely, that definitely content. Definitely want to see the Christian Times <laughs> up there. There's no question about that. And you can actually monetize yeah. that content mm -hmm. because it can be sold through the Google Play Store um, that comes uh, by default on our device. And so once we get this kind of content, this kind of message um, that goes in um, tandem with what we're doing in the marketplace with the educational system, then we can actually help other businesses uh, monetize their content as well. Mm. So the pet helps it helps does that with our strategic alliance with with the Google Play Store um, the tablet is all in one it's a mobile PC tablet so what it does is it gives you an actual real mobile phone mm -hmm. you put a sim card in there you actually got real mobile uh, cell phone other tablets you have to download an app and it's over, it's wi it's over Wi-Fi not over um, true cell data mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so we wanted to do that as well uh, you can stream HDMI directly from the tablet. You don't need another hardware piece. So you don't need another $150 piece. Wow. It's a $15 mm -hmm. HDMI cord. Mm -hmm. So now anything that you stream out of the tablet, you can put it into your big screen TV, whether that be a concert, mm -hmm. church concert, mm -hmm. whether that be a musical um, R&B concert or what mm -hmm. have you, mm -hmm. um, can stream pay-per-view right out of here, and then you can see it onto any big screen, HD big screen TV. Um, we also got it to where we didn't lock you in into the memory that's, that comes in the device, but you have two forms of external memory where you can put a mini USB cord in it and you can get a flash drive memory where you can import and export files. And it also comes with an SD card with up to 32 extra gigs, so it don't lock you in. Mm -hmm. So once you buy other devices, a lot of them, once you buy the device, it locks you in. Well, I tell you, we certainly appreciate you coming and sharing. And, and again, that's what this kind of uh, power uh, network breakfast that we do on a monthly basis is all about. It's about hearing what you have to offer, hearing more about PET, and we appreciate the information you shared earlier, and, and we certainly thank you. All right, thank you for having me. Good morning. It's wonderful to be here, and I'm so thankful for TMI and the information they gave. My name is Reverend Goddess Kennedy, part of the Empowerment Network, also under the umbrella of the Empowerment Network. I am the Senior Outreach Director for the Empowerment Network, as well as in my own business, which is Revelations Now, African Goddess Temple. Our thing is to enlighten people, educate, and lifting up women to where they belong. We thank you for this opportunity. And we also would like to let you know, June 14th, we're going to be honoring fathers at the Harlem Public Library, right across from Marcus Garvey Park. June 14th, honoring fathers. His Father's Day is coming up. We want to let everybody know and want you to come out and be part of it. The, uh, we have a beautiful team because our, our motto is teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you.